What's going on guys, it's your boy Jho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Nightfall and Weekly Crucible Bounty Rewards for this week on all three of my characters. This week's Nightfall was a fun one, we had Tanix or the Shadow Thief Strike and there was Airborne and Solar Burn on. A lot of cool things you could do with all the characters. Golden Gun with Celestial Nighthawk was pretty fun and also you can stay airborne with Angel of Light on the Warlock and the Empyrean Bilicos on the Titan so pretty fun nightfall to do. I actually soloed it a couple times and I'm gonna get into my rewards for my Nightfalls and Crucible Bounty so let's get into it. Starting off on my first character on my Warlock for the Nightfall rewards we were able to get ourselves just a pair of legendary boots and it came in at 294 so not a great start there. Moving on to my next character on my Hunter this time we were able to get ourselves another legendary and we got the long far gone fusion rifle and it came in at 308 so at least it was a little bit better than the previous reward it came in at a higher value. Finally for my last nightfall of the week on my titan we were able to get ourselves another legendary this time and we got the objection machine gun at 307 attack and this machine gun actually looks pretty decent the base stats on it are not bad. Moving on to my weekly crucible reward, starting off on my hunter, we were able to get another competitive ghost shell and it came in at 297. So that one was kinda unfortunate for our first reward. Moving on to my next character on my Titan, we were able to get ourselves a Party Crasher plus one legendary shotgun. I was actually looking for one of these for Crucible, and this one came in at 292 with Arc Burn. Uh, the perks on it were Rescue Mag and Performance Bonus. Not the greatest perks, it did have Rifled Barrel down the middle column though, so that's really good. But I was looking for maybe a Rangefinder perk to give me a boost in the range category because this was one of the best shotguns in year 1 and it's still really good right now in year 2 as well. Finally, on our last Crucible reward for the week on my Warlock, we were able to get ourselves our only exotic. I got the 4th Horseman exotic shotgun and it came in at 310. I actually didn't have a 4th Horseman before this. As you saw, I got the Grimoire card for it, so that was pretty cool. I can add it to my collection. The range stat on it looks pretty terrible, so I don't know how good it is, even in PvE, but it looks pretty cool as a shotgun, and I can at least add it to my collection. So, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!